Sup, baby? Nothing. That shit in Ferguson is scary. It's fucking scary. And I talked to Joey Falato who called into the podcast. Oh, because he's from St. Louis, right? He's in St. Louis, and he was, oh. t- he was breaking it down for me how Ferguson is uh, next to where it's going down, where he lives, and he broke down the three counties to me, the north end, and what happened. And- well, let me ask you something. Go ahead, my Because for- I-, I understand that we need police and that there's one bad cop or something, and now the-, the, whole- the whole thing, it seems like they're all going to shit. But I never really understood. Is it something? Is it because I'm so white that they never really mess with me? Like when you're walking down the street and you see a cop, do you th- are you worried they're gonna mess with you? Because you never know what could happen. You never know what could fucking happen. In this situation, you know, it's like three wrongs don't make a right. You know, yeah. the cop shoots the kid, then they release the video of him shaking down the fucking owner. And then there's looting and there's all this stuff, okay? Yeah. One mistake now led into three others that we shouldn't be doing. Right. You know, uh, listen, man, I've been in situations where a cop has said to somebody that there's been an accident. There's been an accident or there's an event and you're walking by and a cop tells you to move to the other thing and you're like, what, what are you saying? Hold on. You know, you're in your thought and you don't know what they're saying. And sometimes a cop will get into your face. I'm sure that's happened, that ever happened to you. Like, you're not walking on the right thing. Hey, you, did I fucking tell you to cross the street? And you're like, really? Is that fucking necessary? You know, is that fucking necessary? And now you get into a fucking altercation with a cop and you're always going to lose. Oh, gee, yeah, Either that- they're going to give you a ticket or why are you talking to me that way? Or turn around, let me frisk you. It always becomes that. We have taken the man. We have we have taken the, the the the. I don't know how to say the word. Not tenderness. We have taken the the uh, human interaction away from the police officer. Yeah. Because now when they're trained, they're trained. You know, they're shooting dogs. Oh Jesus. You know, a dog is ten feet away. Hey, put put your dog away. Listen, if I, if that dog ain't got a fucking gun or he's not charging me, I understand putting your hand on the holster. You know, I understand everything. I understand that it's very tough to be a cop. When I get out of the car, I don't know what I'm going to walk into. Right. I don't know if you have a gun. I don't know what. But instead of this officer saying, my gun went off, <clears throat> I discharged it too early or whatever, you know, it gets covered up. That Right away, the cops come and they go, fuck him. He was just a black kid. You know, he's probably a hood anyway. That's the mentality. I'm telling you, that's the mentality, yeah. okay? okay? He's just a fucking number. He's not a human no more. You know, we have taken the human interaction out of being a police officer. They are trained now a certain way where they're not supposed to listen to us. And we're all perps and we're all wrong. Well, did you hear about that stop and frisk thing they had in New York for a while? <clears throat> yeah. This kid recorded the audio of it and it was terrible. Terrible. But it's And it's like, because you know that you have to have cops. And I'm sure, I don't even know if the majority, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm hoping that the majority of cops are good people. And... Part of me, if a cop tells me to do anything, I'm just doing Because whenever I see these videos people put up of, like, people outside bars, of people, like, yelling at cops and, like, resisting cops, I'm like, why would you, like, why would you do that? Like, I, and, and part of me is like, well, maybe you should stand up for your rights and stuff. But the other part of me is like, they have guns. Well, and they're the cops. Officer, why are you yelling at me when I'm just walking out of the club? Why are you yelling at me or why am I, am Oh, I my brain doesn't frisked? even go there. Let's say you're saying, oh, let's say he's just pushing you. And you're like, get off me. I didn't do nothing. Right away, that's resisting the rest. They can exactly. hit you. I mean, and then it's 10 cops. Look what happened in Staten Island. What and happened? I'm no political activist. I'm none of these guys. But this guy is a big black guy. Oh, fuck. The guy who died. That guy when they choked him out. Oh, my God. Really? For selling fucking cigarettes? For selling untaxed cigarettes? That's what Staten Island was built on. <laughs> that's what Sammy the Bull Gravano did for 30 fucking years. You fucking morons. And you got a black guy that's six foot fucking nine, and the guy's saying, I can't breathe. And the little guy, Johnny Jiu Jitsu, <laughs> who's a purple belt, is holding on to this fucking guy. This cannot continue. Because what's gonna happen is there's some crazy motherfuckers out there that will get a gun and we'll start shooting cops in the fucking head. It's happened before. Jesus. And then we sit here and we got a fucking salute as they drive by. Listen, we don't know what happened. We weren't there, number one, number two, and number three. We don't know what type of day that officer is having. Okay. You don't understand maybe his kid just got caught playing hooky and the wife is breaking his balls. And now I show up and this black guy doesn't want to. He's just saying, hey, man, you know me. What the fuck are you bothering me for? Yeah. You know, well, turn around. Let me. The handcuffs don't fit. And also I jump up. You don't. You never know. Mm-hmm. You know, you never fucking know what type of day a person is having. Okay. And that's what happens a lot of times in these situations. But what happens after them, 
you know, what does looting that, that's the thing. And have to do with a cop? What is, you know, I don't understand the release. Maybe I didn't grow up in those type of areas. But I did dumb shit like that when I was a kid. I did all that type of shit. When something happened, you join up with a, with, with a, a bunch of people and you're out there yelling and screaming. By the time you get home, you're like, what was I yelling and screaming for? And that's the, uh, I think, <clears throat> I think I, I don't know Ferguson, but uh, let, let's, so I was talking to Paula about it. And she was like, during Rodney King, her mom and her dad looted. Not because they were they were upset about black people, but they were poor and people were looting and they needed food. So I don't know for is Ferguson lower income because maybe well, I, I guess it was a it used to be a good neighborhood. Okay, the, the, I don't know. I, I, he Joey broke it down for me yesterday. It's I, just so it's so scary that that could happen here, and it's gonna happen because now yeah. they're gonna let the cop go. The cop's gonna get acquitted. Oh, yeah. Line. And this is going to happen. There was a march yesterday in downtown L.A. about two cops killing a kid that was mentally challenged. Oh, my God. And then there was another one where two cops, again, got into it with a guy and they beat him up or something in front of his kids. They shot him in front of his fucking oh. kids. So the humanitarian aspect, uh, not the humanitarian, the humane aspect. You know, when I was growing up, guys, I got in a lot of trouble and I had police contact a lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it was in those early years, in the, in the late 80s and the early 90s, where there was still... Cops that were human beings. They'd separate you. What happened? Step back. Lower your voice. Breathe. Okay, what happened? And you had a chance for them to explain yourself without getting turned around or thrown on the floor or, for, or a fucking tank coming down the street. Since when did police officers have tanks? Yeah. Are the neighborhoods that bad? I didn't know that these fucking people had anti-fucking missiles. Oh, fuck yeah. You know, in, on the street to shoot And they were cop. firing, like, tear gas and rubber bullets. <clears throat> Do you think part of it is, like, budget cuts? And they're just, like, they're overworking them and they, they don't hire the best people anymore? And, like, that's part of the reason why I get so upset during tax season. It's like, why am I paying these high taxes? And then you're not... You, stop paying... I don't know if the politics... I don't know who you should be paying, but pay the cops more... And like you should have good cops. Like maybe they're maybe they're hiring people who they wouldn't have hired before. No, they're still hiring the same people. They still go through the same hiring process. It's the way we're getting trained. Mm -hmm. It's the way. It's the mindset that they're getting let out into the street at. It's the it's the ten years on the police force. 